Welcome back everyone to another episode of Mumbles. Today we'll be doing a game review. And today's game we will be reviewing is Steam World Heist. Now I'm reviewing the Ultimate Edition on the Nintendo Switch. This game is also available on Steam, however, it is not the Ultimate Edition. At least at the time of posting this video, they didn't offer it. So you would have to buy the downloadable content separate on Steam. Now that is again at the time of me posting this video. That may have changed if you look on Steam now. Now, let's talk a little bit about what this game is about. This Steam World Heist is basically a turn-based role-playing game in which you take the role of Piper Faraday, and I hope I said that right if I didn't, my apologies, but you take the role of Piper Faraday. Now, Piper Faraday is a space pirate who basically goes on a journey of redemption to save the world. An unlikely role for a space pirate, but this game does a good job of making it work. Now, as far as game length wise on the Deluxe Edition, you can expect between 9 to 15 hours, somewhere around there. I don't have exact play times, but you can expect a good length game. And that is without doing New Game Plus or most of the DLC. 9 to 15 hours, so a very good game to get this game 100% completed. Now, price wise, if you buy it on Steam, it is $14.99, and that is without the downloadable content. For the Nintendo Switch, you can expect to get the Ultimate Edition with all the DLC for $19.99. So you may, if you have a Switch, you might want to consider that version over other versions. So now let's talk about the game, or the graphics, the soundtrack, and the controls. First off, the graphics in this game are very beautiful. Yes, it is set in a steampunk world. Yes, there's a lot of things aren't shown in it, there's not a whole lot of, you know, oh, we got to make everything pretty because you're in an environment. No, a lot of, there isn't a lot of that. But what there is, this game is very pretty. It's got bright colors, it's got all the things that we like in graphics. Nice high definition, clear, clean graphics. Soundtrack wise, this game has a really good soundtrack. And that is because they had an actual steampunk band compose and create the music for this game. Now that steampunk band is named the Steam Powered Giraffe. And they do make an appearance in the game, be, albeit a little one, but they do make an appearance in the game and they made some great music for this game. Even if you're not a, a fan of steampunk type music, the, game, the music for this game really does the game justice and sets thing up, things up very nicely gameplay wise. Now the controls, again, reviewing this for the Nintendo Switch. So for the Nintendo Switch, you can use the controllers to great effect, but you can also play almost the entire game with the touch screen. So if you are out someplace and you know, you just don't feel like using your controllers, you can use the screen to move your character around, talk to people, do all that stuff without having to use a controller. Now what you're really here to know is what they, what can I expect from the gameplay of this game, Mumbles? And I'll tell you what you can expect. A great overall packaged game. Now basically, as I said, this is a turn-based RPG type game. Now by this, I mean, as you encounter enemies, you will go into a turn-based movement type thing. You're always in the turn-based movement type thing, except when you're in your main ship, but when you encounter enemies, it really takes highlight as to, oh, this is a turn-based game. So each turn, you can move so many spaces or sprint. Now by sprint, I mean you can move extra spaces. However, if you choose to sprint, you cannot shoot your gun that turn. So you have so many spaces to move and then additional spaces if you want to basically use your shooting to move farther. Let's talk about the actual combat in this game. The combat in this game is very good. There is a cover system. When you come up across a barrel or a box or something like that, you get behind it and you are protected. However, be aware, these cover systems only last for so long. So as the more hits it takes, the more likely it is to break and it does have a health bar to show you oh I've only got two hits left on this thing I gotta move so that is a nice feature of this game now talking about just the combat itself first off there are special abilities that each character can use now for Piper the main ability that she starts off with is basically a sharpshooter that gives you more power so you aim you shoot and it does double the damage or however much extra damage that that move does but you can only use it once every three turns now likewise, each character has their own unique special abilities that you will gain as you level them up throughout the game. Let me walk you through a normal move or a normal turn on this game. 
you approach your enemies, you see your enemies, you get behind cover, you pull out your gun, then you have to aim in the area that you want to shoot your gun. This game does allow ricochet bullets, so if you want to get fancy, you can ping it off the roof, off the wall, and hit them in the back. You can do that. That is a nice, cool feature of this game. But once you're done, you're done and it's the enemy's turn to move. That is what it means by turn-based uh, role-playing games. Now, the, as far as the role-playing aspect, as I said, there is level. You level up your character. There is also weapons. As you go through this game, you're a space pirate. So, you want to collect loot. As you collect this loot, you may gain new guns, new things, special costumes, things like that, that you can use and wear and all that good stuff to power up your character, just like any normal RPG game. This really is a greatly made game. It's, it's very fantastic. I love everything that they did with it. It just is on point. Con-wise, this game only really has one con. It can get a bit repetitive at times, but I'm willing to overlook that for this game because it's a really good solid game. It's just like, you know, you go, you shoot the enemies, you get the, you get your, your prize, you go back to your ship, you go to the next place, blah, 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 blah. But this game has a nice built-in story to it that makes you want to keep going. It makes you want to keep battling. It makes you want to keep doing things. So as I said, I'm more than willing to overlook those couple, that one little con so that we can get to the score. Now let's talk about the score for this game. What's it going to get on our mumbles? As you all know, as of late, I've been a little bit harder on games. But for today's game review, Steam World Heist, you get an 8 out of 10. Very great game. Very nice price. If you like turn-based games, if you like RPGs, if you have a Switch and you want to just play something new, give this game a chance. This game is really good. You're going to love it. I love it. And I'm just so happy that I got a chance to review this. Awesome game. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And yeah, guys, this has been another episode of Mumbles. I want to thank you all so much for joining me. Please smack that subscribe button. Smack that like button. Smack all those buttons. And if you haven't already, please click that little bell. It'll let you keep up to date with when I post things and all that good stuff. You guys know all this. I'm just reminding you. And yeah, guys, this is Mumble signing off. Have a great day, everyone. Bye-bye.